Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Scott. And this week we're going to continue looking at the data management workspace. So last week we took a look at the export side of that. So this week we're going to take a look at the import side of that. Okay, so stay tuned. We'll take a look at that when we get right back. All right, so like I said, this week we're going to take a look at the import side of things on the data management workspace. So one of the reasons why I covered the export last week, I'll go ahead and link the video up here now, is that the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do an export to export the entity and, and a little bit of data for me to look at so I can pattern off that data. There's a lot of fields in these entities sometimes, and it just helps to have a little bit of data there so you can tell what really needs to go back into those fields. Because a lot of times when you're importing things, it's the same kind of data over and over again. You're just you're slightly changing some of the records. So this is kind of the method I use. There's probably other methods that, that may work better or worse for you, but um, this is what I use. Probably, a lot, like I said, lots of different ways to do this, okay? So let's take a first look at just, let's export the entity we're gonna to use today. To do an import, the first thing I'm gonna start with is an export. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into data management and I'm gonna hit export. And I'm going to go to, I'm going to call my export, uh, let's, we're going to use the location files today, so or the location entity. So I'm going to do location export here, location export in the description. It's an export, we'll just leave the categories of project. All right, so like I said, I'm going to use the warehouse location entity. So I'm going to type that in and add that. Warehouse locations. And select that. And I'm not going to skip staging. And I'm going to get, grab all the fields, okay? All right. So what I'm going to do next is, let's, let's flip over and look at the uh, locations real quick. So if we look at the location screen, I'm going to add some to Warehouse 24. My last bulk location is 16. So I'm going to add some more bulk locations. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that bulk 16 to get just kind of a pattern. So what I'm going to do is, I'm, the reason why I'm exporting these is to get the, the header names, and then get one record so I know what the field needs to look like. That's why, that's why I'm doing this. But I don't want to export everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my filter over here. And I'm going to say I want to get warehouse 24. And that location was bulk 016. It could be any location you want to, uh, to model off of. So I'm going to say OK there. And then let's go ahead and export that. All right, and that's done. And then we'll go ahead and download this file. All right, so like I said, what I'm doing there is I'm just, I just wanna grab that one location just so I have um, some data here to model after. Because the way I do this is, what I'll do is I'll just copy that uh, line in Excel. And let's see, let's, let's make maybe a few extra locations and then I'll just paste it, all right? So then a little quick little trick you can do is you can grab, you know, grab the corner down here and slide that box down and it's going to number the next set of locations for you. There's one other field. What you need to do if you do it this way though is make sure there's nothing specific to that one record, right? So I'm going to scroll across and look and the only other field where I see it's named that same way is right here. So I'm going to, going to renumber that and then I'm going to delete my original, my kind of my model record there. So I'm going to take that off. Now at this point, I've got you know four extra locations that I've created. I can go in and update, you know, for example, the location profile, for example, if I wanted to, um, which is over here. Sometimes you have to kind of expand these out and trying to figure out which what it is. But if I wanted to put something else in there besides a bulk location profile, I would go ahead and update it here. Now, obviously, if you're just going to create a sequential number of locations with the same profile. You could use the location wizard to do this, but I'm just using this as an example here. So we've got these locations, 17, 18, 19, and 20. And what I'm gonna do is we're gonna save this as off somewhere where I can find it. So let's go ahead and um, put it on my desktop here, I guess. So we're gonna call it, um, I already got a location in, import, so I'm gonna save it over the top of that one there. And then we can go ahead and close this file. All right, so now that we have our file exported and we you know, can change that data and, and update that data, we're gonna take a look at how to get that file imported back into Dynamics 365. All right, so let's create an import job. So I'm gonna close out of that screen and close out of this screen. And now this time we're gonna do an import project. So we're gonna go, go into import and then we'll call this one location import. Location import for the description. 
it's an import and so then this time we're going to add a file so we're going to add a file and what you want to do is you want to tell it the entity you're uploading so warehouse locations was my entity my data source is going to be excel um, so let's go ahead and upload and add to my location imports I'm going to select that and what it'll do is it'll it'll load the information and there's some fields since I did a full data push there's some fields that is, aren't updatable so it's telling me that these are non editable so, so I'm just I'm just it's just a warning so I'm just gonna close and go around that all right so I've got my um, file loaded in here I'm gonna go ahead and hit import and we're gonna hit close here and then if we hit refresh we see that we have the check mark here that means that we have succeeded so let's flip back over to our location screen and so remember our last location was 16 let's go ahead and refresh this and now we have our uh, go back down here 16 so now we have 17 18 19 and 20. okay so one of the things you may not realize is that you can actually do create records and update records okay so what we're going to do is we're going to take and update those records that we just created so let's say we want to update a location. So this will actually do updates as well. So let's just continue to play with these locations here. So let's say that we want the location for this to be web shop, right? So we want, we want those to be a web shop location. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open back up my location import file. And I'm going to slide over here to the right till we get to our uh, location profile ID. And that's that's our zone. So we'll leave the zone at bulk, but our location profile ID, we're gonna make that web shop. All right, so we'll copy that down through there. And we have our web shop. We'll save that off. Okay. So let's do another import here. Let's go back to our import projects. We're gonna close this out, close this out. And we still have our project here, so we can go ahead and, and load the same project up. So I'm gonna load project. And generally what I do, it's a good habit of getting into, I remove the entity and just re-add it just because you may be referencing another file or something. So I'm going to go ahead and remove it and then just add it again. So we're going to go, that's going to be warehouse locations in the entity. Oops. There we go. Format's going to be Excel. And then we're going to do upload and add. We're going to find our file and go ahead and open. And that's going to add it. Gives us our warning again. And we'll close that. All right, so now we'll go ahead and hit the import. And we'll close and let's hit refresh. And now it says we've succeeded. So let's go ahead and go back to the location screen. We'll hit refresh here. And notice now our, our locations, our bulk locations that we added were, were uh, changed over to web shop here. Now we're gonna take a look at what we're gonna do if there's an error. So you've put the wrong value in a wrong field something like that and, and basically the data isn't going to be supported by the import right so usually this happens when you've got the wrong data in a field okay so we're going to take a look at when we update the location profile and we put one record that's got the wrong data in it what happens if you've put a wrong value in, in into into a field here and how do you correct that so let's go back and we're going to update everything back to bulk but one of the um Location profiles, I'll put like bulk one or bulk Z or something, just something invalid, right? Okay. So let's go ahead and go back to our location import file. And we're going to update these back to bulk. Those four right there. And on this last one, I'm going to put an invalid profile in there. I'm going to put bulk Z there just to, just to demonstrate what's going to happen if you put a put an invalid value there. Okay. So let's go ahead and close this off and we'll go back to our project. I'm going to close this out, close this out, go back and load our project again. I'm going to remove that file, add it again. So we're going to go warehouse locations, Excel still the data format, going to upload and add our location import. All right, and we'll go ahead and close. We'll do the import again. Close here. And this time we should get an error, so or, or a warning here. So it's going to tell us we partially succeeded. Okay. 
So let's first go look at the locations. So we were changing these back to from bulk to web shop shops. So we have 17 through 20 here. And let's go ahead and refresh that. All right, so notice everything's back to bulk except for location 20. All right, so we can fix that inside the system here. If we go look at our view staging data, if you ever get an error where it's partially succeeded, go ahead and look at the staging data, and it's going to tell you that there's an error on one of the lines, and it's going to tell you why down here at the bottom. So it's just saying bulk Z is an invalid value. So let's go over here and find bulk Z, and we should be able to edit this. And let's go remove that Z. Remove that out. We'll save that. And then let's go ahead and update this again. So we're gonna, gonna uh, we'll just validate all. And then we'll copy the target. Gonna say okay. Then we'll go ahead and say run. And now it's marked as completed. Okay. So let's go back and look at our location again. So we hit refresh here. And notice now our location 20 is back to bulk. So the data management workspace allows you to import a large amount of data in fairly short order and fairly simply as well. So it's really handy. I use it a lot for moving configurations between systems. So if I'm in a test system and I want to get those configurations over to another environment that we're setting up. I use data management a lot to accomplish that task. And it can be used for other things. Like I said, setting up your locations, you know, if you've got a new warehouse and you need to get, you know, a thousand locations in there, this is the tool for you. You know, you can use this thing to get, get things set up really quickly. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed this video on the import side of the data management workspace. If you did, please like it, give it a thumbs up. Hopefully I'll save you some time on your next implementation or save you some time from having to key in a bunch of data. Um, I put up one of these videos at least once a week. A lot of times I do them twice a week. So if you like this content, feel, feel free to subscribe. That way you'll get notified when I upload a new video. Okay? So until next time, I'll see you later. Thanks. Bye.